Guess what, guys? Look what's on your screens again. Yep, Party to Glory, episode 3. And, um, as you can see on the bench, this team's got a bit wild since you've last been and seen this team. Last time, I believe you saw this team, it was completely, like, many bad. Like, there was literally no good players on this. Well, now, I'm going to show you a new team. And one of um, one of the new team members is a silver player, but he plays like a 90 odd rated striker. So first, we have keep going down. Here he is. We have Weyer, and you might be wondering why Weyer? Why do you have Weyer here? Kind of dumb. He's a 72 rated striker. I had a look yesterday. Both stats boosted up with a finisher, finisher makes him over 90 rated. So I was like, I need this guy on my team. And then next, uh, centre forward. And you guys might be shocked because you didn't think I would have one of these. Neither did I. But, at centre forward, we have Michael Essien. And you guys might be wondering, okay, Neo, how the hell did you get Michael Essien? He's an icon. You must have brought it or something. Three, two, one. First owner untradeable. I packed the guy. Um, after stop after I stopped doing Party to Glory, I had got l like a lot of pack luck. That's why I got one. He chan it on the bench. W Anarchy Williams. They would have been sold. But as you can see, first owner untradeable. First owner one trade. Oh yeah, I also forgot about the right back. In first owner one tradable. Then next, at right back, it's a downgrade. I used to have Hector Bellering here, but he was put into an SBC, which is, which I can tell you now is a. I got a headliner from that SBC because I did a party bag, but this headliner is in my team. And believe it or not, he fits straight to who is at my cam, but at centre back we have Joe Gomez you might be thinking why Joe Gomez come on well I packed him so I'm gonna use him and then next we got Faman or how you say his name I don't know how to say his name Fermana I don't know how to say his name um I didn't do the 86 one because I couldn't be asked because it's so much effort then next at goalkeeper we have Joe Hart this man is a legend for the club so far. He scored one goal, which was a penalty against someone yesterday. And then, surprise, surprise, we've got Furlong Mendy as our left back. Now go four, now go three out of left. A kind of shocking. So, I'm going to go by order, which I packed on most recently. And so, I got Mo Salah from a player pick, which I'll be doing in this episode. He, okay, I can confirm both my player pick, and he's been recently added to my team. Next, at left wing, the headliner which has replaced Hector Bellerin and brought himself into the team is Bamba. I needed him. Mem you guys can remember episode two, Bamba was in our team. He's made a return, and he's now in the team fully, with his headliner card, and get Cam. We've got Kylian Mbappe. And you guys might be wondering, how did you get Kylian Mbappe? Well, it's called Patlock, my friends. It's called Patlock. And since you guys haven't seen uh, Party to Glory, I've played over 529 matches with um, Party. As you can see, he's got 215 assists now and 72 goals. Hasn't got an upgrade since you've last seen the card, of course, because... He's been, I believe, injured and not even been played a lot this season. Um, I don't know what Arsenal are thinking. Party was brilliant for Atletico. And they were like, I'm going to bench and never play him. Like, you just basically benched one of your best players. Wait. The player picks are gone. 
That is new to me. I did not know that. But now we have 83 pluses and we have 82 to 88 rated players. So with this one, I, I am kind of disgusted with it. Well, I'm not going to do one of those packs today, but I'm going to do an 82 to 88 rated pack. I'm going to build... Okay, one minute. Let me see how much gold I have in the team. And I'll build some for the episode. Okay, I've got way more than enough than I need. Um, so I will meet you guys back with the packs in a couple of minutes. So we're back, and you might be wondering why are you on this screen. We don't want to see the foot birthdays. We don't want to see the cards you can't get, of course. But if I do get any of these, it would be any of them that are under eighty rated. Tomori is a maybe because, of course, I don't have anyone that links with him. But Joe Gomez and. Never mind, Joe Gomez and Joe Hart. Actually pretty decent. Uh, but Natal, he fits perfectly into the team. I do want to try and replace Salah because Salah isn't really good for me. Same with Ryan Kent. Just wanting to so find someone to replace Salah with. I can't say the Italian guy's name. Um, and the German left back. Don't really want him, but it would be good for fodder. So, guys, let's get straight into opening the three packs, and then we'll go into one game for the episode. This first one is just boards. Not a board in form. It is going to be Brazilian Cam Oscar. That's an 83 rated. Good for SBC fodder. I am looking to complete a Bailey one because I'm looking to replace Joe Gomez. If you guys probably are wondering. Second pack. It's a walkout. It's a UCL. It could be it could be a rip off. Brazilian. Centre back, it's gonna be Tiago Silva. We have been scammed for, with a walkout, but he isn't even a walkout. Could have been Neymar of all the people, but no. If I did get Neymar, Bamba would have been replaced. And to be honest, Bambri is kind of like a legend for the series. And the last one is just a board. Can be Portuguese, centre mid. Ah, it could be either. Wait, no, it is Joe Matinho. Um, I didn't do Ruben Neves's SBC by the way, guys. So don't expect to see Ruben in the team like any time soon. If you recommend, like me to use him or something. Because I didn't do the SPC, I left it on the wins because I had realised I had just given up on FIFA. But anyway, let's um, get on. Well, let's just stop chitter chatting and let's get into when we get a game, shall we? And here is the team that we're going to be facing off against. He's got Rayner, he's got Royce, he's got Douglas Costa. Alfonso Davies, Brian. Uh, he's got a decent team, I would say. That is just all gold and then got one good rate like future star. Excitement in the Amsterdam air as we get ready for a big night of football at the arena in this great city. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by If you don't hear any audio Arsenal today, and it, but Dixon. you hear it like slightly, it's because I, ain't got, I haven't got my headphones game. plugged in really today to for today's episode. And oh and my god, that was a beautiful chip. Um, the only reason I haven't is because I, um, got, I, I, I'm just trying to get Douglas this episode Costa. out and really quick. So if you guys hear Not it, he um, the, um, Audio in the background, the that is why the you can hear it Marco slightly Royce. and you might not be able to hear it like oh, any. Can he put them in front? That's a question, can he? At the moment, oh, he cannot. And that will be a corner. Played into the center of the box. Well, the header, That's hard being a class goalkeeper. Yeah, he has to do better than that. I could have saved that, Derek. Well, he'd be a good pass, but then we're losing the ball. 
Party, what are you doing this is playing back? Now Douglas Costa. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. He's taken on his opponent here. Possibilities for Douglas Costa. Well, it might still work out for Oh him. my god, Joe Hart, you are a legend. A of concentration. Well, he had his eye on the ball, he waited for the striker, and then he smothered it. It's really, really good goalkeeping. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique and oh so close. Salah could change my mind, of course. Mohamed Salah now. If he play, has a good away. game. Don't know why he's apologising. It and was the defender's fault that that happened. Oh. It's a penalty. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. Thomas taking a penalty. Oh, I've missed that. Oh my god, I, I, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. You... <laughs> oh, why? I misangled that and everything. I could have easily got a like, party goal straight away for the so episode and no than Mo Salah. I messed it out. I, like, I messed player, it up. Sometimes you're trying to look at what his qualities are. Is he a good hold up player? Is he quick? Is he this? Is he that? But when somebody tells you he's a finisher, no, a, you know um, you're in big trouble. Good, um... Bamba. What's we we'll call it? Pass. With a good shot, we're getting deflected by the. I am not used to commentating YouTube videos at the moment, guys. Um, sorry if this is kind of weird commentating or something like that. I don't, I don't know anymore. I haven't done YouTube in for a while, as you guys haven't noticed. Well, that's a foul, and it's, and it's a free kick. I've let Bamba take it. Just can't get it past the ball. Party. And on the volley, oh my god. To catch that well, would have chance. been a really good one goal. In ten, goes in top corner. Nine out of ten goes where it did do. Klosterman. Douglas Costa. This looks promising. Now Douglas Costa. Until either the guy pauses so. or it's half time, I don't sub in. Do you know that right back I showed you um, earlier, guys? Basically, I sub him in instead of Aspas because Aspas hasn't got the pace at all. Well, he has. And by the way, Anarchy Williams used to play in his squad. I'm going to realise having way on 10 chem and him being a 90 rated player, while Anarchy Williams being on 7 chem. No, eight, yeah, seven or eight chem, depending well, on the manager. It is a free kick. Um, like, you can see what, what, why I would prefer having a way Junior Zambia. And Zambia is actually Zambia. part of the Holic Gang. If you, if you're kind of shot. His stats are all over 80. Even at a right back, can I just say, he's got over 80 shooting. They keep the ball. Weir. And that's why Weir is in the squad. Look at that. The He's the first the player to get a goal. And can I just tell you, he outplayed him back in, the, in his first match for the club in the, in the first team instead of playing on the silver team that I have. Salah. Mbappe had no goals while Weir had six. In the score, and the score was 6 0. That just goes to show Weya is Mark actually Corre underrated here, striker. Because, of now course, he didn't get the upgrade because Leon couldn't get the goals in time. Zacharia. For this him to get his what if card upgraded. Because really if the he got his what if card upgraded, he probably would have really played defenses. like Killian. But if Killian was his team of the year, like let's be honest here, yeah, you, you've seen you've seen Killian's card, and they upgrade the uh, rating by two, so they outgrade boost all the stats up by two. He would have had 90, no, yeah, 96 pace, I believe. 
Okay, Salah. I'm, 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 okay, I'm just gonna say this, guys, now. But if if you guys were what, if you guys were Mo Salah, would have you passed to Mbappe, who was clean open, could have got a goal, or would have you passed to Weya? I think I would have passed to Mbappe. You know. I'm asking questions why Afonso Davies is up front. Oh, I didn't even celebrate my goal. And the guy's like, I'm going to play the full animation of my goal because I'm going to act all sad. The guy probably thinks I'm a pay to win. But if I was paid to win, I'm going to tell you, no, I would have a talent in my team. And I would have Trent Alexander-Arnold, and yes, I am a Manchester United fan, can I just say, and I still think Trent is class. And there we go. That's Mbappe getting his first goal of the match. Well, as we see again here, the damage he started with a beauty of a through ball and then through on goal, you never really had any doubt he was going to slot that away. Good finish. You probably might hear the audio. I don't, I'm not sure, though. If you do, I will probably put, like, when I'm, when I'm saying away. I'm not sure if you're going to be hearing it, I would have probably, you probably would know by now, but you've heard it for the whole entire Mbappe. video. Oh, he's through here. Mbappe! Mbappe! Two goals. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Three goals from my side and one goal for him. Party with a beautiful tackle. Way up, pushing up. Into the advanced position. Way up. Oh, well, well. close, close. And a corner kick for the referee's verdict. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. And it's half time. Is that for the first half here? So at half time, it's going. It's it's gone good. Um, if we get a rage quit, of course the episode would end right now. But a guy probably wants to continue playing. Yep. So let's get on to the second half. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. If you guys, all I'm saying is, if you guys prefer like episodes like this, where instead of uh, instead of me cutting out all of the um, goal, no, no, the whole entire game and just only showing you the goals, if I did do that, I believe I tried to do that once. But I'm not sure what series. And oh my, oh, Weya! We oh my God, we've got a rage quit thanks to, <laughs> thanks to Weya. Yep. Okay, and the episode is now complete. Weya has got his hat trick up. No, he's got his two goals, but because of that really br that brilliant chip got him a 10.0 in his rankings. All right, guys. So. There we have it. Party to Glory episode 3 has been recorded. So everyone that's asking me, basically two people and a load of my friends that, um, that I know, um, you, you, the asking can stop now. Um, here is the episode you've been dying to have for ages. Um, I will probably be uploading it on the schedule the weekends, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So... Before I finish off, I just want to say thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for well, thanks for all the support on my video back um, to YouTube. I was I actually planned to quit YouTube, but again, thanks to all that support I got on the first episode back after deciding I wanted to quit, made made me want to continue this series. So thanks a lot, guys, for that, and I hope well. And as the normal outro goes, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!